What's up guys? Welcome to another 5 Minute Friday. Today is definitely going to be a 5 Minute Friday because I've got a lot of stuff to do. But this is a very requested tutorial. So today I'm going to show you guys how to animate the black bars. And a while back I did the tutorial on how to actually add the black bars. So if you haven't seen that and you want to know how to do that, you can check this out up here. But now I'm going to show you how to animate them. So if you guys have been following my channel a lot or anybody else's channel that's really popular, you know, Peter McKinnon and all those guys, it's just a popular thing to do where you have just the bars come in real slow like this uh, and it just helps ease the transition into the cinematic style. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's super simple, like super simple. If you know how to add the black bars, then this is definitely going to be a very easy thing to just take it up just that one little extra notch and give your footage just a little smoother and nicer uh, feel to it. So let's get into it. All right, so here is some random time-lapse footage that I shot the other day while we had a very rare uh, snowy day in southwest New Mexico, and I did some time-lapses, and maybe I want them to look a little more cinematic for a vlog or something. I don't know. But uh, the first thing we're going to do is go over to Project, and if you don't know how to make the black bars, we're going to do that real quick. So just grab an adjustment layer. You're going to drag it over and then extend it to wherever you want your footage to be cropped and then we're going to go to effects and we're going to type in crop which I've already done and then just drag it over or double click make sure the layer is selected that you want to put it on because we don't want to put it on the video layer we want to put it on the adjustment layer so if you just want just the crop then I usually do somewhere like between 12 and 15 percent so I usually do 13 percent it varies on how I shoot things but so I already 13 percent so to animate them is super easy. We selected the top and the bottom, that's where the crop is. So now to animate them, all we're gonna do is hit the stopwatch here and that's gonna create these two keyframes. So if we don't want them to start, if we want it to ease in, then we're gonna leave these keyframes here and we're going to back it up to the first frame and then type in zero. And then wherever you want them to be you just add, make sure it's back on 13, and then you'll see there's new keyframes here. So now what you can do is you can select these keyframes and drag them for the desired speed. So you see how that looks, it just eases in. And maybe that was a little bit too long for my taste, so I'm gonna bring it back a little bit. And maybe even just bring it in just a little bit more. right there. So there it is, there's my black bars animated. So now to do the ending animation, we're gonna come over here to wherever you want them to be out, and then I'm just gonna hit these two keyframe spots so that'll show that we've got it selected at 13, and these new keyframes are there. So that'll tell it when to start easing out. So it'll start easing out from these two new keyframes. We're gonna drag it over, it doesn't matter where, and then we're gonna hit zero for top and bottom. And then now you can take these two and then drag them to the end if you want. And then that will be and then maybe again I want to speed that up a little bit so I just want to bring those in a little closer. There it is. All right, that was it. Like I said, that was super easy. Uh, it's just one of those things that it might not be intuitive if you've never done any sort of animations before uh, with Premiere or After Effects or anything like that, but it's super easy. So if you guys have any questions about anything that I did or didn't go over or that you missed or that you wanna know, leave those in the comments below and I'll definitely answer them. If you like this stuff and you wanna see more, definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel because I've got new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Hit that like button if this video helped you out. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.